in this video I'm going to talk about crosstalk between signaling pathways so the signaling pathways in a cell doesn't work along so there are a lot of overlap between signaling pathways and how these overlaps are happening so it appears that uh, the downstream signaling molecules such as second messenger used by both the signaling pathways are same so this uh, enables the cell to transduce signal in a more faster manner than uh, using distinct signaling molecules so for instance here we have a gpcr mediated signaling pathway going on and here we have a receptor tyrosine kinase mediated pathway going on and here in the gpcr pathway upon ligand binding the membrane uh, the uh, receptor associated g protein undergoes a conformational change so that the gdp is exchanged with gtp and this gtp is actually activating the phospholipase c gamma phospholipase c beta i'm sorry phospholipase c beta and this phospholipase c beta cleaves pip2 that is phosphatidyl inositol bisphosphate and it cleaves pip2 into ip3 and dag and ip3 dag both are the second messengers ip3 is inositol trisphosphate and dag is diacyl glycerol from the other side the receptor tyrosine kinase upon ligand binding receptor tyrosine kinase get phosphorylated on its cytoplasmic domain and it activates the plc beta the phospholipase c gamma i'm sorry the phospholipase c gamma so when phospholipase c gamma is activated phospholipase c gamma also cleaves pip2 and generates ip3 and dag so both the signaling pathway ultimately generates the ip3 and dag so ip3 is the molecule and dag is the molecule on which these two signaling pathway are overlapping with each other so ip3 would go and do uh, and bind to the calcium channels on the er on the endoplasmic reticulum and it will release the calcium ion onto the cytoplasm and this calcium ion will uh, activate protein kinase c and protein kinase c being a kinase it will its target are many downstream signaling molecules uh, and it phosphorylates those proteins thus we can see how these two distinct signaling pathways mediated by two distinct distinct uh, receptors are cross talking with each other and uh, these two signaling pathways between these two signaling pathways there are there is a degree of overlap hope you liked it please subscribe and like